Hey Colin here, it's time for Tip Tuesday and this week I'm going to show you how to create crop marks inside of Photoshop. Have you ever done any printing in Photoshop and you wanted to create crop marks within your document? It's really easy, I'm going to show you how to do it here with this little trick. So crop marks are those things that you sometimes find out about when it's too late when you already needed them. Uh, if anyone's sending anything off to a printer, for example, a commercial printing press and you're printing flyers, brochures, etc., you need a crop mark. If you're sending stuff off to a printer yourself and then you want to cut it out, you're going to need crop marks. The reason being, here's our design. If you print this, you're going to, if it goes to the edges, well, you know, you're going to be fine, but there's not going to be paper at this exact size. But what you need to do is you need to trim exactly along here. And so if you're trimming exactly on it, you're going to get little white gaps. So what you need is what's known as a bleed where the design bleeds over into your um, into your crop mark. So you've got like a, a design's actually a little bit bigger than what you need. So you can trim it out if that makes sense. OK, so it's really easy to do it. What we're going to do is create rulers. We're going to hit Control R to turn on our rulers and then we're just going to click down to create our crop marks. So notice what I'm doing. I'm just clicking and dragging these guys and you want to get them exact. And uh, for the vertical guides, you drag them out of the side. All right, if you're using CC, I'm going to show you a much, much quicker way of doing this. What we're going to do is I'm actually just going to go up here and I'm just going to choose clear guides to get rid of them. And now we're going to go into view and we're going to go to the guide layout. So we're going to click on here. And then what you want to do is set one column and one row right there. By default, it's going to show something else. It'll show something like this. So you just want to hit one and then for rows, hit one and then click OK. Super easy. It's done it exactly for you. So whichever version of Photoshop you're on, you should be at this point. Now what we want to do is actually create an area larger than our live area. This is our live area here. This is what we want to see when it's trimmed. So usually it's about one eighth of an inch. And so we want to add one eighth of an inch all the way around. So we're going to go into the image and we're going to choose canvas size. Now under canvas size, you're going to choose rather than all these settings, choose relative. It's going to start at zero. And we're going to grab inches. And because we're doing one eighth of an inch on either side, double one eighth of an inch, it's one quarter. So it's going to be 0.25 for width, 0.25 for height. Make sure that you click in the middle here. You don't want these edges. So you want it to trim right from the middle. Canvas extension color, background, whatever, foreground. Um, you can set that for other things. I'm just going to leave it set to background so it'll show white. And we click OK. So notice now we've got all this extra area around there and um, that's going to be the edge. Now, had you not cropped everything, you'd have a little bit more of your uh, design or your comp to work with. So here's the little challenge we're going to have here now is we need to expand everything out to fit. So there's a couple of ways of doing this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the background and I'm going to unlock it. And I'm just going to go and I'm going to select everything in here. Now we're going to right click and we're going to convert it to a smart object is one way of doing it. But in this case, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to scale everything. I'm going to hit control T and we're just going to click OK. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the option key and I'm just going to click and drag also holding down the shift key. So what I'm doing is I'm expanding that so it's going to fit. Notice it's looking good on the sides, but not the top. So we're going to have to go a little bigger and we're going to start here and we're going to hit enter. So Here's number one, a good reason to start with your crop marks before you do your design. So you can design everything to fit within here. But if you don't, it's no big deal. Um, I'm just going to click away here. Um, I notice that's the V1. So we can drag that out over here. You can also click on here and drag out the different things. So I'm just control clicking to make these fit. Let me grab this background thing here and I'm going to pull this down a little bit. And um, even though that's kind of not perfect there, yeah, I could double that up, etc., etc. But I think you get the general idea. So what you need to do now is move some of these things in a little bit. So you've got a, a nice little uh, breathing space around there. This is still a little bit close. So you'd probably bring that down a little bit more. Um, we could grab that gray background there. And you might have to be a little creative with your design at this point. So right now I've got that. You know, I'm going to option drag out a copy of that to just kind of hide that. And more or less, that's what you've got right there. So that's how you're going to create your crop, your crop marks there. So you're just going to save this out, uh, export it as a PDF, and then you can send it off, print it, 
and then it's going to trim on these crop marks but i haven't actually added the crop marks yet all i've done is expanded the canvas so let me create a new layer and the way i'm going to do this now is i'm just going to grab the line tool here just going to go down grab the line tool make it white we're going to set this um, to pixels and uh, white one pixel is probably quite sufficient so just type in one px and now i'm just going to go in here i'm going to hold down that shift key and i'm just going to drag these out all on this new layer so all i'm doing right now is i'm just copying these guides and if you make sure snapping's turned on this should quite easily snap to these guides and so what we're doing is just making sure we're starting outside the canvas area doing all that now we can hide the guides so we choose here we're going to clear the guides and now you can see we've added that area but it's not a crop mark yet until we grab our rectangular marquee tool and what we're essentially going to do is we're going to go in here and actually what i'm going to do is i'm going to zoom in so you can see better there we go grab this and then we're going to start just inside that little area here and this is what crop marks generally look like and so we're just inside that area and all of those i'm going to hit delete and voila you now have crop marks so um, that there is essentially the quick and easy way of creating uh, crop marks inside a photoshop so when you print this you can actually trim along those little crop marks so don't forget hit the subscribe button um, we'll be back every week with a new tip and tutorial on photoshop cafe so i'm colin smith thanks for watching